<laughs> John doesn't want to talk. It's okay. You don't have to talk, John. I'll just talk to myself, okay? <laughs> you can talk about whatever, okay? Okay, so he's been using the medicine here, and then it's been pushing this out, right? Okay, he'd give thumbs up. And then this now, is this hurting at all? No. No? No? Okay. So I'm going to cut some of this, and then I'm going to grind it down so that it's... I think you're you're pretty safe now because it came all the way here. I think we can get rid of this and it won't cause any trouble. Sometimes we don't want to let this nail uh, kind of cut too much because then it doesn't have a guide for this new nail to grow. But I think it's came up far uh, up here and enough where now I can remove this and you'll be okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Let me know if any, you feel any of this. Okay. Does this catch on your socks or anything? Or yes, it does, huh? Mm -hmm. But you've been patiently waiting for me to cut this for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that. I think it's ready to come off right here. And there. Okay, you have nail all the way up to here. You okay? You feel this or no? No? Let this. Let me know if you feel anything. I don't want to hurt you. No. Okay, good. So when was the last time I saw him? Last time I told you to keep the don't cut it, right? That's mm -hmm. why you left it alone, right? Mm -hmm. So he's here so that I can work on this. If you cut it too short, then it won't grow a nice nail. So that's what we do. January 26th. Twenty-three. So it's been over a year. Okay, so I'm gonna grind this down real good, so that it's we can take some more of this off and make it look really nice. You feel that? You feel okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Does it hurt? No? No.
It's good. How do you like it? Thumbs up? Okay, double thumbs up. He gives double thumbs up. All right? Ready for the summer. Ready <laughs> for the summer. Now you can go out in, in your sandals, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then this won't, this won't catch your shoe on your socks either, huh? That could be a problem, huh? I think it looks really good. So keep using, see it's all the way up to here now, so we can use the medicine and then it doesn't Should cause any. Keep the medicine on? Yeah, you definitely now, because now you got all this area exposed. So I think it's a good time right now to really keep it on until. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you a new, new medicine. Thank you. Or how did it, no, how did it start? I, I don't even know how I. How it started? Started. Oh, I see. Might've caught it from somebody else. Yeah. Fungus is very prevalent, you know? And then and then we have we have Trina who brought her here, right Trina? Yes. Okay, so my mom. Yeah. Was, she, I saw it and I was like, I need to get the best care for her and I prayed and the Lord led me here. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. So well, thank you for coming. Especially Cindy all the way from Florida. I told her that we have to take a sample, but she she's in Florida, so she needs to find a doctor there and get the get the nail all biopsied and then find out what the fungus is causing the problem, so she can put the right medication on. All right. Yes. So how do you like California? Love it. Yeah. Yeah, especially like? Huntington Beach. Yeah, Huntington Beach is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Do you live near the beach too, in Florida, or no? No. Well, we know live near water, but it's not a, it's not a beach. Oh, I see. So it's a, it's a still a summertime there, right? Yeah, it's in the nineties. And then pretty muggy, right? Sticky. Yep, yeah. Ten. I know. I come from Guam actually, oh. so I, I I know all about the humidity. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was intrigued because she, Cindy's daughter, Trina is a aridologist, right? Yes. Okay, just tell tell people about aridology. I know I know a lot about it because I studied it, but I'm, I don't practice it. Yeah. So aridology is the study of the color part of your eye called the iris, mm -hmm. and there you have the name Ira coming from iris and ology the study of. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a study of the sclera, sclerology, and that's the white part of your eye. Oh. And it, they both give us uh, indications through the markings and structure of the eye. And as an iridologist, you're trained to know what those markings and different structures and colors and pigments and what they mean. Mm -hmm. Like a different kinds of um, medical conditions, right? Well, we don't diagnose. Uh -huh. Uh, the iris and the sclera give us clues to the questions to ask the client. Oh, I and see. So we ask them questions and they uh, let us know uh, what they're experiencing. And sometimes we can actually see those things in the eye. And um, then we recommend the right foods or lifestyle for mm. them um, and herbs to nourish the organs or the body systems wow. to get them stronger because our organs, they need nutrients to, they're programmed to do certain functions, mm -hmm. but they, they need nutrients. And sometimes we don't provide those right nutrients. So yeah. herbs are concentrated food and they nourish the body and strengthen it faster than food. And so mm -hmm. I've seen many people uh, and their health just turn around for the better. Yeah. And strength, and, feel strengthened. Right. I took a lot of classes on those, but it was very complicated. I said, hmm, maybe I'll have somebody else do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I studied it myself, but I don't practice it. Mm -hmm. But it's good to have somebody nearby. Huntington Beach is pretty close to me, so if other people are looking uh, for that mm -hmm. kind of practitioner, I'll be sure to send her her way. Well, thank you. And yeah. It looks like you went down this avenue and you're helping a lot of people with different modalities of health and so i'm grateful that you are here to uh, be able to search out and help my mom yeah well thank you thank you for bringing her in all the way from florida <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs>
So I told her that we're gonna clean it out as much as we can now, and then she needs to be followed by another doctor her, near her home to get the testing done, and then we get to the bottom of this, um, you know, what type of fungus is causing this problem, and then um, obviously put the medication here. But also give her my series of videos that I made about the fungus. Um, you can find it on this YouTube channel on the play playlist of the home remedies for the fungus. And then you can take care of your nail problem. And also going all the way to find out the cause of the problem, like your immune system issue on your gut, which is causing this problem. So everybody needs to kind of watch that particular video to find out what, uh, what to do, what kind of supplements, what kind of herbs, what kind of um, lifestyle changes you need to make to improve this condition. So that's kind of yes. where we are right now. Most of our issues stem from the gut, the core of the body. So yes. it's important to get that corrected. Yes. And a lot of things will get fix better themselves. on its own. Exactly. Yes. So mm -hmm. I tell everybody that the gut issue is the most important thing to take care of, especially any chronic condition. And 2,500 years ago, you all know the Hippocrates. Yes. Uh, Greek physician uh, Hippocrates said a lot of great things but he, that's exactly what he said is that all disease start from the gut so yes. when I went when I went to uh, natural medicine school that was the first thing that they told me in my very first class they said our medicine is a little bit different because we're gonna get to the cause of the problem and the most important cause will be in your gut and mm -hmm. fungus problem is not an exception uh, immune system kind of went haywire here and then it's causing all kinds of problems and especially fungus problem here so mm -hmm. this is something we need to kind of constantly work on so it's great so do you recommend a special diet yes yes so i talk about all that on the video just to make it quick uh, and easy is that fungus is a junk food junkie they like artificial food they like all the coloring they like a lot of sugar you know so they love sugar. So we tell people to really watch out sugar, uh, increase intake of um, good protein, and then uh, so that uh, you're, you're satiated. When you eat protein, your body's satisfied so that you're not craving any more food. So to rather than try to fight the, your craving of sugar and fat, which, which tastes really good, you need to eat more protein, a good quality protein. When you do that, then you don't have to eat as much sugar and fat, which is making you gain weight. So, and then obviously mess up your immune system as well. So mm -hmm. always recommend people to reduce the amount of sugar, especially the processed one, the really tasty one. And then everybody likes with all the coloring and it's in a bag and the boxes. Those are things you really have to watch out for to improve your fungal nail condition. So you can watch all of those video in the playlist on this on this channel uh, you can go to the playlist and watch home remedies for fungus and then you can watch all the videos how to improve your fungal condition not only from the outside but also inside mm -hmm. by eating and drinking the right thing so just remember drove all the way from oceanside which is took you almost four hours to get here but i'm glad you made it i haven't seen you Almost four years, Amber. <laughs>